Hello guys, so this is the stage that we're in. I wanted to show you guys what I did. Um, I did a little bit of uh, black basing or blue basing uh, um, in this in this case. And it is just used to uh, break up the, the monochromatic uh, colors and stuff and, and give it, especially on the underside, give it a little bit of uh, different uh, tones in, in the panels and stuff. and. Um, Something you don't need to do, uh, it's just personal preference, but it gives a really cool effect. Um, also, what I'm going to be using is these Hataka acrylic paints. So I did some experimentation with it, and um, they are acrylic based, so they don't like alcohol and they don't like the uh, lacquer thinners. Uh, so Mr. Leveling Thinner, unfortunately, they didn't react too well with it. Um, they do work, but you, you know what? Acrylic works best with acrylic uh, thinners. So you could use their thinner, which is, I believe, the um, the blue. I think it's the blue uh, uh, label, and because they also have a, an orange and. A, blue line which those are lacquer based but for these what also works in and it works best was the uh, Vallejo acrylic thinner um, and also a little bit of retarder on it because they do tend to dry they're very very much like Vallejo uh, paints the the model color Vallejo paints um, they're a little thinner because these are supposed to be uh, airbrush ready but I still like them a little thinner than what they are. You could spray them like this, but they work a lot better with um, acrylic thinner. And also, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, so even tap water works with this. So we're going to be painting this uh, model. I'll show you guys the result. Then after that, we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of uh, pole shading, kind of fading the panels and stuff. Depends on how the the result is, especially on the bottom. Um, we're going to be doing pole shading, and I'll show you guys the result once I'm done, okay? All right, see you in the okay, next Okay, guys, step. welcome back. It's been about um, a week and a half since you last saw the last uh, clip. And as you guys can see, I'm done with the first stage of painting. I kind of paint my models in stages. First, I lay down the camel, then I fade the 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 panels. As you guys can see, also check if you guys see the the, the black parts right here is because some seam lines came back, and so I resanded them and I checked it with black paint because I'm, I'm planning on redoing all these um, but then after what I like is let it cure and then go back with the original uh, color and just kind of unify everything make it blend a little better uh, sometimes like this area right here um, the green if you guys could see uh, I really don't like the real faded um, panel look I, I mean in certain aircraft it works but in, in other aircraft you know less is more and I, I think I overdid it here I think you agree uh, on the bottom I'm just gonna redo everything because the paint I think I use Mr. Leveling Thinner a lot and it's kind of tacky it's been a few days now so it's now it's finally smooth but I think I use that a lot and, and plus the areas that I needed to work on. These two areas right here, this one and this one, um, that wasn't that a seam came, came back. It's just the tape. When I lifted the tape, it peeled off some of the paint. So I had to redo that. And yeah, that's the, that's the first stage of, of, of paint. Uh, we're going to do the second stage and show you guys that. All right, here we go. Uh, finished the painting, as you guys can see. I don't know if the camera will pick this up. Um, I know sometimes the uh, cameras kind of tend to uh, exaggerate the, the the white color, so it 
probably will look patchy. But as you guys can see, I kind of toned everything down um, with the fading and stuff. Uh, I'm really happy on how this turned out. Um, right here, let me zoom in. Uh, right there, as you guys can see, that's the effect that I was looking for. Um, less is more. You know, so I just hit the... I just hit the colors with the uh, original color, I mean uh, the panels with the original color and I kind of went over them uh, very very lightly. Uh, on the back, I found something out. I didn't have any problems with the other colors for the upper surface. Um, but with this color, uh, which is the, the, it's French, but it's pretty much gray blue. A light gray blue um, it tends to um, have that satin finish to it and it is a lot thinner than the other colors so I had a little bit of problems with thinning it down uh, it was running a couple of occasions I had to redo everything but that's pretty much the effect that I was looking for you know what I mean um, I still have to do a panel wash with that will make the panels pop a lot more. Uh, the landing gear was painted. Uh, I have to retouch some of it because the photo edge came off. But it's coming along. Um, my advice is with Hataka paints, test them first with um, um, Thinner, I will recommend the Vallejo Thinner. I, I, I know I said that numerous times. But um, yeah, it's just coming along uh, little by little. I'm working between this and my other project. And yeah, hopefully for the next update, I will have the entire thing decaled at least. And we can start with the weathering. A lot of people don't weather their decals and you could look at a perfect weather model and the decal is like brand new and <laughs> a lot of a lot of modelers even in contest i've seen that they don't weather their decals so that's something that you have to keep in mind okay all right guys thank you for watching as always my name is Louis. i'll catch you in my next video